Hello everyone, happy 4th of July. Quick, quick message that was just on my heart. Uh, all during today I've seen posts and, and you know, flags and, and celebrating America, and which we should. Uh, America has been truly blessed and I've been seeing, you know, God bless America. It just had me thinking, I say yes and amen, God bless America, but I want us to remember why America has been so blessed and it is because it was founded on godly principles. Now, no, man hasn't done all the things right. When has man ever done? You, It's like in your home when you set a standard for your home and you may have children, some of them obey and some of them go awry. It's the same thing, but the standard is set. And so we have been blessed because God promised blessing for those that have been friends with Israel. That's one thing, and that's a huge thing. And read it for yourselves, uh, because God didn't mince words. He meant what he said. And the further away we get from what he says, you open the door to curses coming into your land. Um, there's so much I could say about that. Uh, we see the brokenness of homes, and that's where the curse starts. It's attacking the fathers, the absence of fathers in the homes, and the breakdown of a society. Uh, God is very smart. He knew what he was doing when he established a family. And so we have to get back to first things first. Um, and so I guess I said all that to say that there's a way God wanted us to operate in the land and we should and we need to get back to that and not apologize for it because what God says is right always whether we understand it or not. And your questions of why this and why that, take it to him. He invites you to come to him and ask. But we should do what he says so that we remain blessed. So I'm gonna leave you with Father, we pray that you would bless America, but I know that it is as America returns back to you that we bless you, and how we bless you is by our obedience to you. So I, I hope that you, this made you pause and think. I hope that you say yes and amen too. And even if you don't, that it will cause you to go seek out his word and inquire of him. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. God bless you.